Hi, welcome to Donegal Railway Heritage Centre. It's been a while since I've given you an update and it's just over two weeks since we had the official opening of our Drumbo project. So I thought I'd take you a little tour around the museum and outside so you can see what we've been up to over the past year and you can see all the updates we've made. So we start off by going through the museum. We've had some new signage put into the museum. So you can see here where we've put information around so you can see exactly what is on display. We also have some new boards. They've been made out now and they're going up into the museum. And the main area is in the reception. If we have a look there, we've got some lovely photos enlarged. We've got a lovely one here of a train coming into Donegal on our reception desk. And then we've got a big feature picture up here on the wall. Again, off the station here at Donegal Town, sitting over the Killy Bags, which we've also had new signage going on Killy Bags and the Denigal Town layout. So I'll take you outside now and we'll go through all the updates outside. So here we are outside. You can see now we have some new signage up around the building. We'll take you on a little tour now. We'll go into Coach 58 and out the back so you can see what we've been doing out there. And you can see there's some more of the new signage there telling you about the signal box. Here we are in Coach 58 and we'll step out through that onto what was the original platform of the Denigal Railway here in Denigal Town. You can see we have the seven and a quarter inch track down. We have our shed at the end for storing it in. So this makes it a lot easier just to pull it out when we have guests here, take them for a ride up and down the platform. Now we'll go inside and we'll go down to our new interactive cab that is down here in the end of Railcar 15 Now this is great for kids and for adults. They can come in here, play various games, learn a bit about the network, even blow the whistle. Do with an oil. So this is a fun thing to have in here. It's been a great hit with uh, kids and big kids. Now of course we'll go out and have a look at the main event, which is Drumbo herself, and we'll see what's been happening out there. So we're gonna go onto the new platform now and have a look at Drumbo. You can see there's some more of the new signage for Railcar 15 and Coach 58. Here we have the new platform area. Canopy's gone up over Drumbo to give her as much protection as possible. So here you can see Drumbo. We've extended the canopy a little bit bigger to give it as much protection as possible. You can see here as well in the red wagon, we've installed some automatic lights now. They're on a sensor, so when people come to have a look in, the lights come on automatically. And we've done the same thing in the gray wagon here, which of course, this has got the Pedigo layout on. And if you want more information on that, I'll link a series of videos down below where you can see where this has been installed and the extra work I've done on it, on the extensions. So this side's almost complete. Still have this side to work on. So this is an ongoing project. What's gonna be in here in this gray wagon is gonna be model railway. So say this is a model of Pedigo station. We're gonna have some signals down on the ground. This side is gonna be dedicated to the Phoenix. So we're gonna have a couple of models of that up there. And this side is gonna have all models from the Donegal railway. We also have our signal back up again. The post has been replaced on this and the signal is up. Now we have a lot more work to do here at the center. Um, we have more paths to put in here. We recently got a grant. So we're gonna be putting in tarmac paths along here, up onto Drumbo, renewing this path here and the path outside. So that's ongoing work. And that will be more or less phase one complete. of getting Drumbo back here and the projects here at the center. The next big step is of course phase two. We're actually gonna put down some three foot gauge track and get something running again. But that's gonna be a longer video. And as we go through that process, I'll give out more information and a few videos on what we hope to achieve. Well, there's a wee update for you, what we've been doing here at Denigal Railway Heritage Center. You can see we've been quite busy over the last year getting all this work done. So please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.